Hi, my name's Claire Weeb and I'm an advisor from Red Deer, Alberta, Canada. And thank you for joining us today for the July virtual crop. I have the honor of making a layout for challenge number two. And as soon as I saw this layout, I saw the use of vertical photos. And right away I thought, action shots. Who doesn't take 15 or more photos of the same shot? So I have here a picture of my son jumping into the water for the first time without water wings. And some cute photos of my husband and son making funny faces. So I wanted to share with you how I made this. I used the Summertime Designer Paper Pack. And you can see here some really nice vibrant colors. I also used a couple of the mats from the Summertime Variety Mat Pack, which is handy. It has lots of sayings and really easy to use journal boxes. And I used a couple of stickers from the Summertime Designer Sticker Set, like this embellishment, cute embellishment here. Also, as soon as I saw this layout, I was wondering what in the world am I gonna cut this down to? So I can give you that little trick and hint here that this mat that I made two of the same is 11 and a half by five and a half inches. And the photos I cropped to three and five eighths by five and a quarter inch. And again, I did that twice to make that. Also, you can see here that I used two sheets of designer print paper. I cut them in half, which is six by 12. To put them together, instead of using another sheet of paper, you can see here, I just took the designer uh, paper pack, the cardstock that comes in it, cut this by two inches thick and stuck it on with my tape runner. And that way it cuts down on thickness in your album and you are able to uh, save a, a whole piece of paper. So another feature I can point out to here is I used the lamp chain, lamp light chain border maker cartridge and I cut two of them in two different colors and I used the leftover pieces to fill in here just like a jigsaw puzzle and I thought that that was a real easy and cute way to make my layout pop. So that's how I did that. If I bring you back to the layout, you will see here that they used, I call it a, a banner ribbon. So I can show you really quickly and easily how to make that right there using the 12 inch trimmer. So it's all about using this angle here called the 45 degrees. So this here is an inch wide piece of scrap that actually is left over from my border mat. And I'm gonna put the tip of it here on the cut line, making sure the body of it is on the 45. And I'm gonna cut half an inch down, which is half the width of the one inch. So I'm gonna cut from here to here using the line on the housing unit as my guide. So just a half an inch down. The trick is to flip it over and do the same thing. So the tip, is on the cutting line. The rest is on the 45. I'm gonna cut half an inch down. And there we go. We've got our perfect little border ribbon. So thank you for joining us. Hope you have fun making challenge two. Happy scrapping.